The thing that everybody's talking about right now are the cryptic changes to Ember, the new Danger Zone map set on a volcanic island. The claim that FPS has been dramatically increased by roughly 30-50% to in most areas wasn't quite what I experienced. For the most part I saw between 5 and 10% better performance, mostly when limited by a slower graphics card. But there was one spot that improved by about 40% for me, and that was here. On the surface, not a lot has changed, besides the brighter lighting, shifted props and a new wireless light. But if we turn on Hacko Vision, we can see what's happened beneath the surface. Literally, because all of the underground tunnels, which were previously being rendered from this position, no longer are. So there's been a bit of optimization done to hide the underground from the above ground. Now I only tested 16 different viewpoints, so I likely missed a few other parts that they have focused on. Speaking with one of the map's makers, Jim Wood, he pointed out a few other areas that they had focused on improving. It is mostly about ensuring that places underground aren't being rendered from above, and there are a few connecting areas which have seen significant optimizations. I found the performance across this map to vary quite a lot. The caves ran about double the frame rate that the outdoor areas did. I'm not saying they can optimize the outdoor areas more, but it does mean that there's more room to decorate the underground tunnels if needs be. He said that it's hard to test a danger zone map because performance drops off after the map has started due to all the stuff that's spawned in, and then the advancing danger zone areas slow stuff down as well. And of course, performance on this map is less consistent than most already due to the erratic nature of the steam jets releasing their pressure from time to time. Valve please fix, so to speak. So that's the performance side of things out of the way. Visually, there have been many minor changes to prop placements. At this stage, the map is young, many adjustments will be made, and I don't think anybody is familiar enough with it at this point to care too much why. It just is. But among the biggest visual changes are to the rocky cliff bits, which have also had the collision meshes made more exact. One area this can be felt is at the top of this wooden staircase. Previously, you needed to duck if you wanted to drop down this gap in the wood, else your head would get caught on the rocks above. As you can see, you can now drop down much more easily after this latest update. Another spot where the cliffs have changed is in ruins, where a new route has been created to let you hop over the hole in this wall here. Also helping with the frame rate is a change to the water. It appears to have changed colour, but this is down to it now reflecting fewer of the surroundings, one of these being the white sky that it used to reflect. It's a bit of a shame in my opinion, I always like a good reflection. But alas, they are no more. The old radar image was made using Jim Wood's own radar generating tool, which he likes because it looks more techy than the other tablet radars do but this has now been replaced for a more traditional looking radar image to fit in better with the other maps in the game. Looking at these radar images, several of the names have changed for this update, and Valve have added a few custom names simply for this map. Isn't that nice? There was a spot here in Ruins where you could potentially get stuck if you didn't have the mobility pack. This has been addressed in the latest change as well. And the same in this box thing here, which could trap you if you were stupid enough to fall into it in the first place. The wall here has been lowered to transform it from being a dead end into a new viable route across the level. And there's now a boost up the side of this building here, again to increase mobility across this map. And this view here really emphasises the new chumble models which were added to further dunglify the chunky Flumpston areas. And weapons can now spawn behind the lighthouse here, and near the underground steam spitty shooty bit just here. And the lift will no longer kill you, as kindly demonstrated in this clip. Yep. I normally leave it a while before covering new map changes because it can take some time to fix all of the small and annoying issues that come with a map of this scale, but I admit it has been interesting to see what kinds of changes a new Danger Zone map gets early on in its lifespan, and I thank Jim Wood for talking me through the more vague patch notes, which saved me a hell lot of time, and he says there's more to discover still. See if you can find a reference to Far Cry on this map's beaches. Oh, I've said too much already.